The body has been beautifully constructed to optimize our performance in risk taking. It gives us fast reactions. Reactions ha occur a lot faster than consciousness can keep up with. It provides us with gut feelings, which they found are not only real physiological entities, but are required for efficient decision making. I think it's really important in this research to realize that we're dealing with the wrong model of how the body and brain cooperate. To me, it was a light bulb moment when I came back to Cambridge and started this research to realize that economics and fi academic finance, even psychology perhaps, and even is really fundamentally influenced by a platonic notion of a mind-body split. Now that sounds like a really philosophical notion that wouldn't really impact concrete research, but it has a really profound impact on the way we see body and brain. I think a lot of us are, think that our brains can operate independently of our bodies, but we didn't evolve that way. Body and brain evolve together. They work together. When we take risks, body and brain are collaborating as a sing functioning as a single unit. So in answer to your question, usually our body and brain are beautifully uh, synchronized to optimize our risk taking. And the more we've looked into the, the biology of risk taking, the more we've realized that what we're uncovering is just a universal biology of risk taking shared by athletes, by soldiers, by politicians, and by traders. And normally, as I say, that that biology of risk taking works very, very well. It's just occasionally under situations of extraordinary opportunity or threat, the biology can overwhelm us and shift our risk preferences a bit too much.